Welcome, welcome to Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Buyers are getting squeezed, and we're going to talk about that today. Please subscribe so that you can be up to date on Arizona real estate. Uh, in speaking of Arizona, our former vice president Dan Quayle once said, "We are ready for any unforeseen event that may or may not occur." And right now, buyers are being squeezed, and the rates went up faster than anybody anticipated, and they are feeling the pinch. And if you take a look. You can see what the qualifying amount is here. In other words, back in January, to qualify for the average price home, your income needed to be about $60,000. Now to qualify, and this is as of July, it's even worse now in September, you need a qualifying income of $89,000. Now I don't know anybody that got a $29,000 raise this year in the matter of a few months. So that's taken a huge bite out of your home buying dreams and if we look at interest rates you can see where they've gone here this is just from june on up to september here um, we're actually up higher than that we're about 6.3 but here's what bugs me about people talking about interest rates and that is that you'll hear agents say yes but rates are still at historic lows this isn't this doesn't have anything to do with just rates this is an affordability issue the price of houses are very high so a rate increase that goes from three to six is very damaging I don't want to hear that we had 11 percent rates back in the 80s and we were all fine there's absolutely no comparison and a real estate agent is being very disingenuous if they try to walk you down that path yes we're at historic lows when you look over the past 30 40 or 50 years but that has nothing to do with what's going on right now. I tried looking up the average cost of food for a family of four and found this to be really kind of a chuckle because it's from uh, the government. They're saying for a male, 51 to 70, average cost of food per month is $169 to $340. Bucks. I can't get out of a fries for less than $90. Um, and that's just to pick up food for a few days. And I don't eat expensive stuff but just the things you need in the grocery bill now family of four their average bill is running about twelve hundred dollars a month and it's growing by eleven percent in food so they're getting squeezed in food we got squeezed in fuel we're starting to see some relief but it looks like that's kind of starting to whittle away as well so what i'm saying here is there are tight wallets out there so consumer spending is going to go down house prices are going to continue to go down we don't know how fast There's people say we're going to fall off the face of the earth and crash others that say ah we could be fine in six months in a year we just don't know but what we do know is this listings under contract although they started to spike up a little bit in august came back down in september they're trying to recover but with the rate increase that we're seeing out there in the markets today i don't see that happening uh, the cromford market index has gone down to the to the floor here and it's just baselined and leveled out so uh, that's telling you that we're closer to a balanced market actually on the cusp of a total buyer's market now you hear me talk about open door a lot and i'm not bashing that company i'm just curious of their uh, their business model and what they're doing because i saw them pick up a home for five hundred and fifty thousand in august they put it on the market uh, this week for 495 right out of the gate they they're upside down um, I'd love to know the devil in details on that. Now, they're trying to move as many as they can. I think they only unloaded about 100 of them this month. Um, or last week, I saw they had 1,600, and today they got like 1,530. So they're still out there. They're still reducing the prices. Um, it's really worth taking a close look at those homes because you know they want those off their books by the end of the quarter. Yet they're still purchasing homes, uh, albeit at a slower rate. And I will tell you on a personal level, I've got one in escrow now. They have been fantastic to work with. I know agents have complained in the past, but for me, phone calls get answered. We negotiated a good price. All of their communication is timely, and uh, they're, they're really on top of things. We had an issue where the rains um, kind of caused some havoc with the artificial turf in the back of the yard. Sent a picture of them, and they said, we'll get somebody right out there to fix that, Rick, because we were doing a final walkthrough. So for me... They've been great. There's probably other people that have had, just like any other company out there, there's good things that happen and bad things that happen. The other thing to keep a close eye on, too, is if you're interested in new construction, really watch those numbers. 
Lennar's having huge price drops, but they were always pretty high anyway. All of them are offering rate buy downs and they're all different. But when you get that email or that postcard, remember that the number is going to change because the rates are so volatile right now. And the Fed is meeting on Wednesday and they're going to tell us whether they're going to go 0.75 or one full point. And there's lots of talk and chatter about supporting either one of those numbers. So stay tuned in this channel here and I will keep you updated. So if you hit that subscription button and hit that bell notification, you'll know whenever I add new content. Everybody take on the day and have a great week.